So hey everybody, today I wanted to make a brief video on the extrude operation in Plasticity. Extrude is one of the most basic features in CAD, and Plasticity has all of the classic extrude options, plus it adds its own unique spin on things, and so I'm hopeful that this video is useful for uh, beginners as well as more advanced users, because I'm gonna show off a couple cool features. Now, extruding in general, is the operation of taking a profile body, in this case, this blue planar region, and moving it through space along a linear path so that the body gains some dimensionality. So for example, this two-dimensional blue planar region moves through space and becomes a three-dimensional solid body. Or by contrast, a one-dimensional curve can move through space and become a two-dimensional sheet body. Now, extruding is part of a class of operations that are called profile operations, and that includes sweeping, revolving, extruding, and lofting. And in general, all profile operations take a profile curve or uh, region or face, move it through space along some path. And extrude is the simplest because the path is just a straight line. Now, plasticity supports um, all of the classic extrude options that you expect uh, from a CAD modeler. For example, you can tweak the draft angle by using this circular gizmo. Now, I tend to use the key bindings A. And while holding down uh, the gizmo, you can, hold, you can hold down the control key to kind of snap to nice round numbers. Now Plasticity also offers a sort of thickness uh, gizmo that allows you to um, kind of sh what's called shell the extruded uh, body. And that can help you to very quickly create like an interesting base form that you can use um, for subsequent modeling operations. Now another thing that Plasticity offers that is somewhat unique is this blue shear gizmo, which kind of allows you to tweak the angle of the extrude. It allows you to um, sort of just give a nice little accentuated energy to the forms that you're creating uh, without much effort. Now there are limitations. Uh, if you shear way too far, it will fail, but you can find a nice um, reasonable shear till you have a nice cool energetic form and right click to confirm and we have a nice little extruded body basically. From there we can just start modeling and, uh, and do whatever we want. Now I want to show some more advanced extrude options so let me create another profile curve really quick. So normally when you extrude, the direction by default is sort of the inherent planar planarity of the sketch that you're extruding, of the profile you're extruding. So like a rectangle like this has an inherent plane. In ambiguous cases like this line, you will generally extrude in the direction of the construction plane, which in this case is the XY plane. But you can also uh, extrude in a custom direction by using freestyle extrude. If you type F and then you draw the direction you want to extrude, you can extrude in, in an arbitrary direction. That's most useful, I think, um, when you have like an existing angle in your document that you want to echo. So for example, I can freestyle extrude along this edge and now the direction of the extrude will be parallel to that edge. Um, now, you can also extrude faces. So I'm sure you've seen the offset operation before. That's like the probably the most basic operation in plasticity. But you can also extrude a face. And by default, when you extrude a face, it will Boolean union the face to uh, the new extruded form to the body that you're extruding from. In the positive direction, it's a union. In the negative direction, it's a subtraction. And you can use all these other things, uh, like the thickness and the shear gizmo, 
while doing this, if you want, to create fairly weird forms uh, as, as you like. Um, you can also like extrude, and if you don't want to do a Boolean, you can use these uh, other operations like type B, for example, which will make it a new body. Now, another unique thing that, well, you, I think unique relative to fusion maybe, thing that plasticity offers is you can extrude curvy faces. For example, if I type E here, um, I have taken this curvy face and extruded it. Um, and that gives you, well, I think this is a relatively obscure and fe feature that you're probably not going to use very often, but it can still, it can be helpful sometimes. So uh, it's worth bearing in mind. Um, I think that's kind of it for now. Oh, I guess one more thing I want to show off is when you do extrude, if you want to extrude uniformly in two directions, I mean, you can always use these things in the gizmo, but there is a, if you type tab, it will lock the distance in both directions. So that can be uh, useful sometimes when you're looking for a symmetric extrude. All right, well, in any case, that is um, the, uh, that's it for today. I think uh, that's a good overview of what the extrude operation is capable of doing and some of the unique twists on it that Plasticity offers. I didn't go through every single feature because this is enough, honestly, for 99% of users. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully this was a fun and an informative little video.